He was known as playful, a hard worker close to his family. But someone wanted 17-year-old Ernesto Wiltshire, better known as Jun, dead, and said so publicly. His aunt, Sharon Wodai, told us that a threat he did not take seriously has come back to devastate his family. He actually told, told friends and stuff that there's a guy told him that he needs him to die, to dead, and then like um, he say, but and then one of the, the, the females said, but why? He said, because they, they jealous him, like that. Yeah. And um, that, that was about it, because he never had no else problem with nobody else. That's the only person you can think of. Yeah. And then um, we spoke to a little guy that saw like four of them climbing the hill, going back towards where they found him die. And um, actually, um, the guy told told my sister that there was like four of them. So they give her the name, so she take it to the station already. The family had organized a search party and made a missing person report after Jun was not seen since Tuesday when he had gone to the river with friends. It will be the last time anyone, except for the persons who lured him to his death, saw him alive. I talked to the police and they told me that because I was going back there but at the same time when the guy came I said you know something nobody can't enter there because it's already in the police hand so I just stand there and then I get a phone call and they told me that they need stuff to do for some more time so I just come back and get this stuff them and then drive back there I'll leave it with the police them um, have the police spoken to you uh, did, did they say um, what, what they had found well, actually, he he got a um, chop wound on the back of his head, and um, we have to wait until they do the post mortem so that we could know what we'll do after that. Because if not, um, if the doctor doesn't come from Dangriga like today, then the police will have to mind the body back there whole night until the doctor come by. Okay, but at this point, the family is satisfied that somebody did this to him. Well, we know that, that somebody did it because he would want to chop himself and, you know, he never kill, wanted to kill himself. The sixth of 13 children died in the same clothes he was last seen wearing just three weeks after a relative passed from symptoms of cancer. The double blow has left the family wondering what was so important to his killers that he would cause their relative to lose his life. Yeah, we didn't expect that we we'll found him, you know, dead and stuff like that. Um, it's really grieving for our family because we recently buried one of my little nephew. He was, he, he actually, he died um, due to cancer. So we even, it's even three weeks now. So we have a next farm nephew we have to take off um, um, doing our funeral services again. So it's really hard for my family and worse for my sister because the, the, the nephew is her grandson that passed away a couple weeks ago. So it's really hard for the family right now. And whosoever do that, I mean, um, they don't have mercy. I mean, they have to think about, okay, they have brother, and they wouldn't have liked somebody to do their brother that, you know? So, you know, it really, it really hurt us at this moment. From T Kettle, Kayo District, Aaron Humes reporting for News 5.